Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. I've been asked a few questions about how to identify poison ivy, poison vine. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, what do they look like? What to look for? Uh, what not to, you know, use for toilet paper, basically. So, I'm going to show you some of the differences today. And I'm going to show you what's not poison ivy. And, um, you know, so stay with me. This is poison ivy. You can see three leaves. And that's the general rule, you know, uh, leaves of three, let it be. If you'll just look, a lot of it has a lot of that waxy kind of color to it, you know. It has a, a waxy surface. And uh, here's some more. I mean, it's pretty much growing uh, everywhere. Eastern woodland's absolutely full of this stuff. So, uh, you can see... Pretty much all this green up through here is, I'd say, 80% of it's poison ivy. Okay, this is poison vine. Um, you can see how the leaves are kind of, they're a little shiny, a little waxy looking on the tops, especially the new growth. And you can see how this stuff vines. You can see how the vine kind of has a little hairy bit on it here. But you'll see this growing on trees, on rocks, a little bit of everywhere. This plant you want to avoid, uh, especially the stem part. You don't want to burn that at all. Uh, you don't want to get that in your firewood. So make sure you got that stuff uh, cleaned off before you burn it. Or you'll end up with your eyes irritated and your nose and mouth and everything else irritated really bad. But uh, you can see this is starting to have a new growth. You can see the little spurts coming out here on it. This is a poison vine. You know, pretty prevalent around this area. And uh, it grows to be a pretty good sized vine. I'll see if I can find a couple on a tree around here that are pretty big. You can see one down here on this one. It's got a pretty classic look. This is a more mature vine. As you can see it growing up this tree. You can see some of the leaves coming out here on it but you want to try to avoid this stuff and it's pretty much growing on every tree that I see so you know you need to be really careful and be mindful of that not to put your hands on it uh, you know don't brush up against it you know crushing it usually is the worst case for it you can see that poison vine growing pretty good right up through here you know I've never seen poison hemlock in this area before uh, you know, and I've spent a lot of times in the woods and a lot of time, you know, out hunting and and uh, spent had a lot of dirt time, but I've never found poison hemlock in this area. I don't know if it's the elevation's too high or what, but uh, that's another video. You know, I get to a, a spot where they have it, and uh, you'll be able to find it. There's all kinds of good stuff. Now this. Yes, it has three leaves, but that's called a trillium. So, you know, a lot of times there are other plants that uh, kind of look like poison ivy. And there's another thing called Virginia creeper that uh, a lot of people confuse with poison ivy. And it is not poison ivy. Here's some poison ivy vine growing up this tree. You know, this is This is nettle. Stinging nettle um, has a irritant back there. You can kind of see the stuff. We'll do a video on that too. Matter of fact, I think I've brushed against some some at some point. Feel it burning. Poison ivy, especially on, the, on that new growth, you can see a lot of that waxy, waxy look to it. I used to get poison ivy all the time. I mean, I just look at it and have it. I got a really bad case of it weed eating one time, and uh, I mean, I was covered head to toe basically in poison ivy. And uh, uh, now it doesn't really seem to bother me. I'll break out a little, itch a little, but uh, 
doesn't really seem to bother me. I don't know if my body had built up an immunity to it or, or what, you know. Let's talk about the treatment of poison ivy. Uh, if you're exposed to it, uh, there's a thing called jewel weed. Now I'll have to get back down in the valley because I know where some's at there. You just want to kind of crush that up and put it on your arm or wherever you got exposed to poison ivy and that pretty much will neutralize it. If it's already starting to blister and that type of stuff, you know, calamine lotion uh, to dry it out. You can also use some plantain works a little okay. It takes some of the itch out. Uh, so does witch hazel. That'll help take some of the itch out of it too. But uh, for natural remedies and stuff, you know, plantain and uh, jewel weed are your best bets.